Decorating Fanatic here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today I want to share with you my coffee bar table. I've gotten a lot of requests asking how I finished my table. So I purchased this around two years ago. I decided that I wanted to make myself a coffee bar in this little area that I have that's just off my kitchen. So I purchased this online and when I got it, I knew it was solid wood. So I went ahead and decided that I was gonna sand the top sand the drawers and I was going to stain it. So let me go ahead and show you what I used. The two colors that I used for my coffee bar, I went ahead with the Rust-Oleum wood stained cognac and I purchased that over at Walmart. And then the Americana decor, that is something you can buy over at Home Depot. Now that is a chalk paint and the color of that is lace. Here's the table that I'm working on. Now I am using an electric sander. This will make the job go easier and faster. And you wanna use a 120 or 150 grit sandpaper. Now, as you can see, I have finished removing the old wood from the top of the table. And then I finished it up using a 220 grit sandpaper. That will give you a nice smooth finish. And then I'm gonna be removing the drawers as well because I will also be sanding them. I went ahead and brought my table inside and as you can see I started painting the bottom shelf. Now when using chalk paint there is no prep involved. Just make sure that your wood is free of dirt or any dust. And I'm going to go ahead and give it several coats of paint to cover up the wood finish. Now when it's all done drying I will use a 220 grit sandpaper to give it a nice smooth finish. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal it with a polyacrylic clear coat. I finished staining my three drawers. Now what I like to use instead of a paintbrush, I like to use an old rag or a t-shirt. Now make sure you have your gloves on and then all I do is dip my rag into the stain and rub it in. And then after you're done, finish staining all your drawers. Make sure that they are dry and you're going to go ahead and use a top coat. And I like to use a poly acrylic and what that does is it helps protect and seal your wood from scratches, stains or water damage. The reason why I chose cognac is because I was doing this project for my husband and he really loves the color red. So we went ahead and chose this color because it has a lot of red undertones and he really likes the way this turned out. I hope you all enjoyed watching my video. Now this is a super easy project that anyone can do. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. And until next time, happy decorating!